Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Lumpia Company. Oh, man. Oh, man. That's <laughs> oh, welcome, welcome, everybody. I'm very happy to be here. Undiscovered X. Today, what you're looking at is a spaceship here because we're going to take Lumpia where it's never been before. All right. We got the kitchen, we got cameras, we got lights. All of that on Lumpia, giving it the spotlight. That's what we do every day at Undiscovered. So we're gonna have some fun, we're gonna take this back, we're gonna play some music, have some special guests, and wait for this oil to simmer up, and just take it back to when I didn't even know what I was doing. And I had a dream to, to have Lumpia at national uh, ballparks, baseball stadiums, uh, basketball arenas, and my dream was like to see that guy walking down the stairs yelling, Lumpia, Lumpia, fresh hot Lumpia, and that is what we're going to be doing right here. So let's get started. I got everything here. I'm going to make six different Lumpias that you've never seen before, and don't tell your mama I'm making these because she's going to slap me in the face. <laughs> so here we go. So I'm going to start with my glue, that's, that's just what gets everything together. So I'm going to mix with uh, cornstarch right here. And I brought this uh, blue spatula because this is the first spatula I started with right here. It's like the OG, the old faithful. All right, so I mixed it with water. And at first when I started, it was just like Filipino aunties just said, just put the egg, you know, put the egg white or the egg and then like your lumpias came out all yellow. When I started a lumpia company, I thought like, hey, I, I have to make this into a product. So we don't want egg stains in there. Nobody wants to buy that, right? So here we go. My mom said, there's a better solution to that. Corn starts. I'm like, all right, let's do it. So let's get this started here. There's a flame. We're gonna put it in. It's cornstarch and water, the essentials. You're always gonna have it. So I'm just turned it on about medium right now, and I'm just gonna stir it around. We're gonna roll about six different flavors, but I'm gonna do maybe about 30 different lumpias here because we're just gonna try and showcase it all. I got the cutting boards out here. I got a bunch of garnish behind me. Got some fresh. Uh, Herbs right there that I'm going to cut up. And that's all stuff that has never been in lumpias. So I'm going to let that go right there. Getting my Rachel Ray on here. So the first lumpia that, the lumpia that we're going to prep first is the lumpia that, you know, I'm thinking it goes well with wine. And I like to call that the Napa Valley lumpia. And this came after I came out with the bacon cheeseburger lumpia. If you guys don't know, that's what our flagship lumpia is, the bacon cheeseburger lumpia. And I was like, moved back to Hayward. You know, I was a retired promoter. It means I had no money. And I moved back to San Francisco, uh, San Francisco Bay Area, moved onto my mama's couch. It was warm. And I had the table and I said, hey, Al, got to make something of myself. I got one last chance for a passion project. And that was to build the lumpia company. So what I had there was um, my brother in my mom's house. They had a big table like this, and I wanted to make a, a, another fancy lumpia. And all, what I did is I went through his fridge, and I just look, I dug all the way through. I'm like, what, are we, what is he having here? It was after a family party. And then I was like, huh, Italian dry salami. Shout, shout out Columbus. Shout out to Columbus for, uh, you know, always looking out for your boy on the uh, Italian dry salumi. And then <laughs> there was a block of Asiago cheese. I was like, huh, a cheese and salami lumpia. And I was like, yeah, that heck ago. So <laughs> that's, like, I was like, yeah. Like I had no, you know, formal training of like being a chef or cooking. So I was like, yo, I just want to make some crazy stuff. So I posted the bacon cheeseburger on, on uh, Instagram got like a thousand likes the first time. It was more than when I was torn with Raul, with Supreme Soul, cause they didn't have like Instagram back then. We had like cameras. I don't even know what it was called. Friendster, MySpace, it was something like that. So 
what I did was, is I took this block of cheese and I was like, yeah, mom, can I put this in the lumpia? She's like, hell no. So she went to sleep. And I was like, all right, you know, we got some music here. We got some music. I was like, there was a thing called Pandora back then. Is that still going on now? Just kidding. But I said, yo, I, I need to turn on some Jay-Z. And I turned on some Jigga. I was like, you know, recently broke up with my girl, so I needed to be hard. I needed to be motivated to make something that no one's ever seen. Because, like, yo, I had to get back on my feet. So I, what I did was I, you know, took the Asiago. And I'm like, all right, let's see. How does it work in Olympia? So I had to get a little weird with it. And at that time, it was like the big thing was Breaking Bad. And and then it was like um, I wanted to be the Breaking Bad Olympia. I wanted to like, you know, I was just hidden out. And all my folks were like Raul and Shortcut. They got the chance to hang out at 111 Mina. I didn't have money to buy drinks for a round of drinks for my buddies. So I was like, I got to come up with something big. Wait till they see this lumpia. So I just cut through all of this Asiago cheese just like this. And to tell you the truth, when I make this lumpia now, it comes pre-shredded, you know, because I make volume. But I'm bringing it back to the essence when I first started. So this block of cheese was, means everything to me. Because when I first started, I was like, three hours when these guys were all kicking at 111 minute with Fran Boogie. And I was like looking on like Instagram, everyone's having fun, but I'm at home smelling like Asiago. So I'm cutting through the Asiago and it's just, I just look down and it's like, this is going to be the most awesome lumpia you're ever going to try. When I'm on like my hundredth lumpia now. And every time I give it that approach, that love. So I got a good dice of all of them right here. You don't have to like dice them all the same way because um, they're just it's going to get mixed down. So in my kitchen right now, I have like huge Hobart mixers and that like mixes all the cheese together and creates a perfect blend. But today I'm going to do it the way I did it the first time. Hand mix. You ever like mix like a cheeseburger patty with the mixer? It's not the same. You got the you got the uh, hand mix where it just has those chunks in it of flavor and that's what we're going to do right now so i cut through this same exact block and it's so cool that i came out here to like cook for you guys because this was down the street from when i first started doing uh feastly pop-ups and went to gus's market and got the same block of cheese that i did for my first pop-up dinners and i kid you not october 17th that was my first ever pop-up dinner. So it's like, this is kind of an anniversary for that. And now it's like, I started with just an electric fryer. Now, Undiscovered X, they're giving me this kitchen right here. This kitchen right here. And this peach here. And I'm finally happy to say that I'm sharing the stage with Joe Coy. He's <laughs> right there. What's up, Joe? <laughs> that shit was hype last night, bro. Man, that's what we would say. So, I mean, Joe, yo, man, thanks for letting me make lumpias at your house, too. So, ask him about that. So, anyways, man, I'm on stage with Joe Coy. Now, five years ago, I didn't think he would be the biggest thing on Netflix. But now, jeez. All right, so I got the Asiago, and I'm going to put that to the side. And today I'm adding a little bit uh, – little bit more on this calabri right here so it's going to soften it up this is a extremely salty and if you look what i'm going to mix in here this is that baby arugula so it gives it that texture and that peppered arugula so this is the first time i'm going to put this in here because i went to the market and asked uh asked like what what would go good with my mix and this one would soften it up um the salt it balance it out and what we're going to do at the end of this, um, after I cook five other lumpias, is we're going to, we're going to like pair this with uh, this guy right here. And you know whose wine this is? It's that boy, Errol Stevens, Uncle Earl right there. So I'm cutting through this cheese and now it's just all mixed together. 
man, I haven't done this in a second. So now these chunks are going to be amazing. And then, boom. And this is like a <laughs> very expensive lumpia. This is that luxury right here. So, boom. I got that. So you got all of this cheese. I'm going to put this in this big mixing bowl, and it's going to be here to wait for us. All right? Now, when you're, when you're cooking, you want to check the oil. Usually I'm on a deep fry, and it stays at like 350, 375. We're bringing it back to the original way. You can't tell if it's hot, but you're going to see it. You're going to hear a little, you're going to hear a little Filipino right here. I don't know if it's, nope, it's not ready. It's not ready. Never overheat it or else you can't return. So respect the oil. That was the first thing I ever learned because I didn't want to be here doing uh, this pop, uh, this, this demo and then put in the first loop and it's black in two seconds. So here it goes. I'm going to dice up the salami. All right. This is the main one that we're prepping here. I'm going to put, put it in the fridge, let it blend together. Okay, so now you hear the little, little crackle, and that's, that's a good sign. So when you hear that crackle, just let it, let it chill for a little bit because you ever been to a Filipino party, it smells like lumpia and oil. That's what we're going to do with this beautiful studio. <laughs> so here we go. I'm going to do rounds right here. Uh-huh. Gee, if I made a lumpia, that'd be Jay-Z right there, huh? That's what I would do. I, when you're cooking, you either talk to your food or talk to yourself. Because greatness comes when you're just crazy. You know, you're just like, man, what's going to, like, keep me home and not party with Raul and Bayani and Fran Boogie? You know, they're going out. I'm making lumpias, and everyone's going to know about it. I was telling myself that five years ago. And everyone's like, you crazy. What's the difference between your lumpia and my mom's, you know? But I'm like, you'll see. One day you'll see. So I'm going to cube them up. I'm going to do dice. You want that good chunk to it, all right? You don't want to buy the uh, salami that's already sliced thin because you, you're just not going to get that, that pepper punch, you know, it goes. So there's so much flavor that's going to go into this lumpia. It's just crazy. Like you got the, the peppered salami that from the Italian dry. And then this has a, uh, the, the peppered arugula and then the cheese blend. And I'm going to show you what brings that all together. You got to bind it. So how many of y'all out there thinking I'm crazy? And then they're like, dude, who is this dude making a salami and cheese lumpia? Well, when I ask myself, you know, every time I'm making the flavor, I'm, you ask yourself if you like everything in part. So, Raul, you like you like salami? Uh, yeah. You, yeah. You like Italian cheese blend? Yeah, that's what I like. Yeah, that's what you like. That's your type. No, you, you All right. <laughs> <laughs> I I didn't mean that, man. I swear. I was trying to say you like Italian <laughs> cheese blend and uh, and salami. <laughs> Yes, yes, then you'll like this lumpia. That's all I was trying to do, man. I love your lumpia. Come on, buddy. Hey, man. <laughs> all right, let's, let's switch the focus here. I'll do something else. All right, so I got the, I got the salami all, all diced up. All right, got this shot right here. It's going in. This is my very first lumpia company uh, cutting board here. It has a lot of work into it. Um, so it's pretty special to me so we got that and then now I got my uh, cheese all in here and we're gonna get a little dirty right here I'm gonna uh, put the cream cheese and blend it all together just smooth it out so here it goes so is that the correct way to put cream cheese out there so Amazing, right? You're adding flavor to flavor and flavor, and it's right there. So 
I'm gonna put this over here and I'm gonna give my hands a double wash because I want you guys to enjoy these later on. You don't want to put the gloves on. This is gonna take take all of all of it away. All right. So I'm gonna mix all this together first. You want to make sure the cheese is uh, well distributed with the. Oh man, you got the hits here, man. <laughs> I like how it's like all the music is like it's like matching my age. <laughs> like, I was riding my Peloton this morning, and then <laughs> can't you tell? Can't you tell? Well, I'm coming up with my own Peloton bike. It's going to be called Peloton bike. Yay! Yeah. And it's going to have like a, a, like a, you know, a swivel, uh, you know, plate that I can eat snacks with. It's protein bars, nothing like lumpia or nothing like that, you know. So look at that. Cheese, we got messy. We're having fun. So I'm going to put these guys in right here. This is what... You, you wouldn't imagine, like, how this is going to get lost in this mix. So I'm mixing that together. And sometimes when I, I mix this together, people are like, more arugula. But I think I got the perfect amount here. So we're going to hit him with that. All right. I'm going to mix this together a few more times. This is going to just burst out at you. And you won't believe how this is going to be served but I'll give you a hint. I mean, what goes good with these cheese, we need something sweet. So some schmear. We're going to schmear the fig jam in it. So you guys feel what I'm saying. So giving it that mix, I'm going to do give it about 30 more seconds. Now I got to wash my hands. And we're going to go start cooking the sauce. All right, so that's a good mixture right there. There's so much flavor in there. So I'm going to wash my hands off. How you guys doing out there? Yeah. All right. You know, I want to, like, make lumpias with the baddest people out there. I'm hollering at my boy, Chad Hugo. If he could just bring out the, the, the time when Pharrell was hanging out at your mom's house. And they're like eating his first lumpia. I think that's an idea for the best rappers alive, you know. So I'm gonna put this mix in right here. I'm just gonna let it. This is as your uh, auntie would say. All right, just cover it with saran wrap. Thirty minutes, but we don't have that time. Thirty minutes, and then come back to it. All right. So, all right. But I bet you're wondering what all this heat. I have here is habaneros. I got some garlic. I'm going to make uh, my own sweet chili. Um, down here, I have, not down there. This is, uh, I'm going to make a peach habanero sweet chili. And this is my signature uh, sweet chili sauce. I got that. Cider vinegar right here, and I'm going to put this in first. All right, got that shot. So you, you could go white vinegar. I, apple has that, that good sweetness. We're going to do garlic right there. As some people say, there can never be enough garlic, but there could always be a, too much garlic. <laughs> Unless you're a vampire. <laughs> All right. This this feels like 2014 for me. I'm like, man, I'm going to make the baddest lumpia. So I got the garlic in there. I'm going to get these habaneros right here. And we're going to go hard. I got the, you guys like spicy food? Yeah. Uh, sauce? Maybe. I mean, three will get you. If this is if you put this in, that's like Taco Bell Diablo sauce right there. It's pretty hot. But I'm gonna go, you know, one day we're gonna have our stuff on uh Guy Fury. It's gonna be like, welcome to Flavor Town. I'm just gonna try this, it's gonna try this peach habanero sauce. 
that's good sauce. So just remember that one day it's going to happen. You got to speak it into existence. So I got the garlic, I got the habaneros, and I got the vinegar. And I got my diced, I diced all of these to perfection right there. Now, here you go. So thinking ahead of time, I'm going to blend all of these together. Uh, here we go. I always wanted to be like Hubert with this, man. It's just like. <laughs> you know what I mean? All right. There it is. Just hit the switch like that. I just wanted to hit the switch like that. So we got a good blend there. All right. And that's spicy right there. That's spicy right there. Watch out. Can you smell that, RJ? Oof. That's not a mango smoothie, yo. That's that's some heat right there. All right. So this guy, we're going to make the sauce here, okay? And what I have here is a little quarter cup of brown sugar. I'm going to hit them with the water. Get it. So I make about... How many quarts of this, man? 300 servings of it. So we're going to go. There you go. We're going to hit them. I'm going to bring it back to here. Watch. I'm going to get that to caramelize. All right. I like brown sugar. Gives it that, I don't know, brown sugar all day for me with everything. So whisk it all together. I got old blue with me here. Everything's going to be all right. So let's wait for it to caramelize a little. And I'm going to check. I'm going to do, I'm going to do a heat check on the oil. Because, okay, it's there. There it is. So this guy, you caramelize that. So the a reason why, like, I made this sauce, uh, and originally I ate it mango habanero, and it's just like, because it was like, that's a Filipino flavor, and I just think it'd catch more, but I tried peach, and it just, the flavor whooped its ass, and so it's like peach habanero, it, I just, I couldn't go with the mango. I made mango, too, so what we're making is what I have here. Shameless plugs, I guess. But this is that peach habanero we're making. And I made the mango. It's good, too. But this one, um, hopefully I get it in stores pretty soon. Uh, it's pretty popular at all, um, both our shops. You can get it in Oakland, San Francisco. So we got the. it's starting to bubble now. And um, I'm going to get a little bit more. Hit it, hit it a little bit more. All right. And this is awesome. What I like, what I like to see, is uh, when I pour this in, how it all just just comes to form. So what I have there, it's coming, it's coming. And I have a special ingredient that's gonna be the citrus. You guys ever hear of calamansi? Shouts out Sun Tropics. Thanks for <laughs> supplying your boy. Hi, I'm the Lumpia Chef. When I use calamansi, I get it. In cases, unlimited cases from Sun Tropics. All right, there you go. All right, starting to bubble in. Let's get this pour in. Watch this. This is awesome. This is my my favorite. So it's all right now. We, usually have the sous chef. Hey, you got it. All right, that's it. Joe, Joe, you got it. Thanks, Joe. All right, Joe Coy makes a. Uh, uh, Awesome synagogue. All right, there you go. So let's stir it together and we're going to let it go for. I'm going to let it uh, cook through while I start frying our first lumpia. Y'all ready to see the lumpias getting cooked? All right. So we're going to use all of this. Oh, what, what song are you playing here? Man. Oh, man. The sprinkle me. I should be one. Should have played that when I'm, I'm plating. So we're just gonna bring that back. When, when I'm plating, 
sprinkle me parsley, green onions. Let's go. All right. So let's cook. We're ready to cook some lumpias. So I'm going to add that calamansi. And you're going to do the Filipino measure. Just eyeball, <laughs> eyeball. You know, we can write that in the ingredients. All right. One cup sugar and vinegar, calamansi to taste, eyeball it. That's what we do. All right. So it's looking good on the outside. We're going to wait for it to bubble there and it's just going to solidify. So here we go. I'm going to cook our first lumpia here. Let's see what the first hitter is. Whoop. I'm going to bring them all out. I'm going to bring them all out. I am. Actually, all right. You're not going to see them. I'm going to hide them here. And I'm. this is the first one that's coming out, all right? This is the first one I ever made. I was driving through uh, Carl's Jr. drive through I don't do anything under the influence. I'm just crazy. And I said, hey. Well, a Western bacon cheeseburger lumpia. That would be an amazing idea. And then they're like, yeah, it would. So, <laughs> so we went home later and had uh, Chef Ispai and I. We made it. And we're like, it's good. So, so here we go. So it's ready. See that? All right, we're going to do, do three here. All right. So boom. I'm going to turn up the heat a little bit. Ruby? Ruby, what what, what lumpia are we going to make? We, we've been talking about, she, she liked the dobo. Um, she came through the kitchen, and we were rolling lumpias. That was cool. All right, so the bacon cheeseburger is going. Give it about four or five minutes, and we're going to plate that up. And then this guy is starting to work. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Can you smell the fumes? Can you smell the peppers? Mmm. So this is in there. This guy. Yep, yeah, she had that. Anyone out there, give me some uh, ideas for lumpias. I'll tell you the truth if I tried it or not, all right? Let me know. Let me know what you guys want to see. Because this is the bacon cheeseburger. And it is frying. All right. And now you I ever need. made balut lumpia? Balut lumpia? No. I just made a balut slurpee. It was excellent. <laughs> I, I use this bowl right here. It was so good. It was like It just hits you. The yolk goes go straight. No, I'm just kidding. I didn't do that. Come on. That's crazy. <laughs> Was the uh the the head sticking out of the wrapper? Ah. Like, oh yeah, I got those stocked up. Didn't go on lumpias all day. And the great thing about that, a lot of the lumpias that we make, it's just I guess some people call it like, yeah, it's like an intro to Filipino food. Like I, I never heard a Filipino person tell me that, but other people have, and it's half true. So like if some of you didn't like the brothy blood coming out spewing or the didn't go on. Coming out with like a, 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 a crispy mixture with rice and meat, and then you dip it in the vinegar, or they're like, oh, I like dinner go on now. <laughs> it's like I had so many people convert just through the form of lumpia. So that, that was amazing. Anything else? Anything else? Durian, Durian. yeah, yeah. I, I played with it for the dessert. Yeah. Oh, yes. I did the baboy one. Yeah. That, that one's good. Mm -mm. Oh, this is, see, cooking with, oh, come and talk to me. Uh. You want to talk to your food. See, I'm stirring this, this, this peach. Your name. You spicy? Mm, there we go. It's talking to me. It's talking to me all right. I need background dancers, Raul. <laughs> I need background dancers. Let's go. Hang out, man. We're cooking lumpia. So. So this guy's catching up to heat. We're almost there. Every time I, I'm gonna put more in. You. So, so this lumpia right here, I'll save it to one of my buddies here. Oh no, let's do it. This is the. This is that lumpia right here. 
that when I talked to Earl E40, he was just like, hey, Alex, you need to make uh, that traditional lumpia. And I was like, what? You're telling me to make a traditional lumpia? Hence, he's from Vallejo. He's more Filipino than I am. He's like, <laughs> yo, the, you don't have enough veggies in there. You need to put more sprouts. He, he knew his ish, man. So we came out with his first Earl special. And this is before he signed on with the Lumpia company. He's like, let me see what you got. You know, so I was just like, it was like me turning in my mixtape, the Def Jam. Yeah. I was like, yo, oh shit. E40 wants me to make a Lumpia to his customized, uh, uh, you know, request. And then this is what I came up with. And he's, yeah, let's bring them on. Oh, wait, I can cook these first and then we'll bring them on. Because we can. Oh, we just gave away the surprise, man. <laughs> so I'm putting these guys in. And this is how he he, he has his own fryer that back there. He he gets fryers like gifted to him because he's E40, like wearing, and then I get the ones that you don't want. It's like it's like so. So these are cooking. Regular Filipino house party. This is starting to bubble over, getting getting a little thicker. And then we're just going to keep put it to simmer now. It's perfect. And just let it go. Like my daughter's favorite song. Let it go. All right. There it is, man. Man, when you come to dad, your jokes get hella dad style. And it's like, that's what makes me happy, man. Elsa and Anna, it's like, those are my best friends. They take care of my... So, hey... The only thing that makes me still be like a kid is making lumpias. So, so there you go. Here's a technique, guys, that, that doesn't get taught enough. is like how to take lumpias out of the pot, right? I mean, where's somebody going to go like this? Ah, you got to grab it from one end and then flip it. Just have to have that touch. Earl's really good at this, actually. So we're cooking the bacon cheeseburgers here. See the cheese? We got We got... We got smoked bacon in there with the cheddar cheese and the ground, the Angus ground beef. And then we got the Earl's turkey. And that one has the uh, Distal Farm, uh, really good quality turkey in there. And then mixed with your traditional gulai of peas. Uh, Earl likes corn and we'll have sprouts. And this one, heck of go, just like all the other ones. But I mean, it's probably our top seller because it has that traditional texture with a switch up of like uh, turkey. And we're also talking, Earl and I are also talking to, to uh, Impossible. We have an Impossible Earl's and an Impossible Bacon Cheeseburger. And I'm not gonna lie, I can't even, so I can tell the difference when I make it all, but I mean, it's, other people can't, you know? It's that good, all right. So you gotta hear, you gotta listen to that fire. It's like the little snap, you know, like it's talking to you. So it's ready to go. So once they start floating, that means like the meat isn't is heavy anymore. It cooked through. So that's the sign right there. A lot of people don't know that. So these are the bacon cheeseburgers. And those are I'm gonna do my first plating right here. Man, how do you know I like this stuff? I'm I'm like 31 now, bro. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm gonna cut it the way I originally cut it when I first started. Serrated knife. And we're gonna go artisan cut. And to be honest, when I first started, you know, we're like, we wanna make it fancy and we want everyone to see it. We're amongst the first to cut it this way. And then as you see tr trends just happen on Instagram and then everybody was just cutting it the same way. So I'm gonna be plating these ones here. And we did the little Chris cut here and boom. And then I'm gonna hit them with some of this parsley. And then it's, Usually at the shop, we do uh, barbecue sauce, and we have another option, which is our 
banana ketchup aioli. So imagine animal style sauce with banana ketchup style. And then I'm just gonna go, you know, you gotta be a quick hand, go a little heavy pour and just boom. And then, you know, since we're being fancy today, cornichons, all right? So there you go. And these ones go extra well with the function reds. So that's the first plate out. All right, guys, the bacon cheeseburger lumpia with banana ketchup and parsley. Now I'm taking out the Earl Stevens. He has Earl Stevens wine. He has Earl Stevens selection. He has, he has E. Quarenta, but undiscovered X. Y'all sleeping. Earl Stevens lumpia, man. Get, get, can you just even speak that into existence on how we're just breaking barriers now? We got like folks like Snoop and, and Steph Curry hitting them up and saying, give me some of that lumpia. That's everything I dream of and everything we do and work so hard with all our events is just to share our culture through, you know, music, food, uh, business. There's so many things that we're doing here. So I'm going to cut these guys up. This is the Earl Stevens lumpia. And before I do that, I am going to put in two more lumpias here. These guys are, imagine if you're driving through North Shore and got to stop by, get that Giovanni's shrimp truck. And this is that garlic butter shrimp. And we're putting it, uh, it has like that parsley, it has uh, the citrus of the lime in it. Just so good. And you'll see how I pair it with the sauce. So those are going in. And then this is like, when I was making bacon cheeseburger and lumpias, um, and, and hot pastrami lumpias, people were like, that's not authentic. Like, I just want the Shanghai, or I just want regular mama's veggie. But I'm like, all right, well, how am I gonna stay alive being a business, you know, with something that you say your mom makes better or whatever, you know? I'm like, so I went to the drawing board and I just, you know, I want everybody to enjoy. I want to give a little bit of everything, you know, something to everybody. So I said, how about I put some of my favorite Filipino dishes into lumpia? And I went down the list. And then first one, I was like, ding, 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 ding. Chicken to Nola lumpia. Woo! And at first, people were like, what? That's weird, you know? How do you make a soup? Chicken to Nola is a soup. But I mean... Come on, man. People don't, you know, Shaolin Bao is like a soup in the dumpling, right? So you won't believe it. When you try this, this is for my OGs. This is for my real ones. Phil, all, all my Filipinos that know their flavor. When you try this one, you say, that's him. That's what he's doing. This is this is that one. This is this is why I made this one. Just to say, hey, we, we we're taking it to uh to the next level and and, and, and what do we call that? What do we call that, uh, Gina? We're calling it uh, Generation what? I forgot what it was. Uh, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Third wave. And this is, this one, this one, heck of really go. <laughs> I love having RJ here, man. It's, it's so good. Heck of really go. So this is going. You could check in with Earl, see if he wants to hang out. Okay. So here we go. I'm putting these chicken tanolas in there. So I got the timing on it. So this one has everything that you want in tanola. It has, has a really good chicken I get from my butcher, but it's the ginger hit. It's the chayote. It's the spinach and, yep, that fish sauce, RJ's favorite, the fish sauce. And it just, heck, it goes. That's, that's all I could say. 
Heck it goes. All right. Yo, Uncle Earl wants to get on, bro. Okay. Gonna, that's the AirPod. I'm going to give you a camera to see it. What's Hello? up? Oh, yeah. like, this way? This way or that way? Other side. Boom. Hey, hey. How you doing, boss? What's up, buddy? I need those shades too, man. I need you making lumpias with shades. You know, you got a yes, man. Maybe for Christmas, all right? All right, all right. But you did load me up with them boom boxes, man. I should have like, I should have put them up the like this. Box. Hell so, yeah! There you go, Earl. I'm cooking them just like you are, like you do at your house before you got the the big turkey fryer. So yeah, you're you're OG, man. Like you you know how to flip the lumpia. I didn't even have to tell you. Yeah, like. You, how'd you, so, man, let's just talk about, like, before you signed on, like, what, what, what like, Vallejo, let's take it back to Vallejo, why, why you love Lumpia so much, you know, I tell everybody, man, my partner, he's more Filipino than I am, and <laughs> I want, you know, everybody's watching, this is the, the world's biggest uh, Filipino nightlife festival, and oh, people wow. are tuning in from everywhere, so that's why it was very important that both of us just paint the picture right here, man. Shout out to all the Filipinos. Man. Shout out to all the Filipinos. Um, basically, you know, me being from Vallejo. Um, in Vallejo, we have a lot of Filipinos. Super, been been super close to them for years since I was first born, you know. And um, some of my best friends are Filipino. And uh, I just so happen to eat a lot of Filipino food yep. in my life. Especially lumpia. <laughs> That's my yep. favorite. You know, that right there and oxtails and uh and I'ma just say it, I don't eat it as much as I used to, but chilling. Some people don't know what that is, but you know, those who do know, I know it's not good for you. <laughs> so I do it you know, once once or twice a year, but but lumpia is my stuff, man. That's my favorite. So I hooked up with Alex, man, and uh Alex will probably tell you how that one started through my man E Rock. <laughs> yeah, you, know, you get E Rock. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I said, he's like, man, what can I get some, uh, some lumpia at around here, man? <laughs> yeah. It's crazy is that, like, I was a prom I was the promoter, of, uh, Filipino nightclub promoter. Like, I was the best at that. And I was doing my yeah. thing. But I never, for some reason, I never got down with you. It was like, and it wasn't until lumpia. And I got this phone call from Iraq Nagrampa. And I'm like, yo, what's up, E? He said. Alex, you got time? And then you came in, Alex, this is Earl Stevens. And that's when I was like, whoa. I was like, whoa. I was like, and you told me the same thing. Your love for chitlins, your love for oxtail. And now you, all the Filipinos are getting excited when you say love for oxtail because yeah. all these people right here eat it with peanut butter. So, <laughs> so. Hey, check this out. We need to do, we need to do a specialty. Remember I told you, we need to. We need to get I had a have, we need to have the butcher cut up some oxtails, right? Get the bigger right. pieces, get, off, get that meat off of there, run it through the grinder as if we're doing hamburgers or ground turkey, and make it ground oxtail. Oxtail then, burger. You know, we chop it up thing just like it's like it's ground beef, you know what I mean? Or ground turkey, and do oxtail burgers, do oxtail burger uh lumpias. You know, sky's the limit. You know, we do a non-traditional lumpia and we do a traditional lumpia at the lumpia company. So it only yep. makes sense to go take it to another page. You feel me? Yep. Man, you okay. already blessed you already blessed us. Like I always talk about we're taking lumpia where no no man has taken lumpia before. Efeezy is helping me do that. I mean, there's a few people that can go unnamed that I wouldn't believe that ate our product already. But it's it's just hilarious because I'll just send it to a blind address and then I find out 10 days later, I'm like, whoa. <laughs> Whoa, that guy, that guy well, was like, it. wow, yeah. you know, I got a lot of, I got a lot of big name people that love Lumpy and want to taste it very badly. So we get into two every day, every, every other day I get a request from, some, yeah. from an influencer, somebody that's well known, you know, <laughs> so I, I mean, I thought it's, I had a bit. What's up? Yeah, it's, it's, it's good, man. Thing. I mean, I thought I had a pretty good Rolodex until I started rocking with you. And then, like, 
I'd be hollering at, you know, people like Snoop or their their camp, and it's like, whoa, <laughs> yeah, what's up, Mister Dog? You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, I'm like, <laughs> that's that's how man. Earl says, oh, what do you say? You putting the uh, the rap game on loom uh, on on wine, and then what'd you say about lumpia? And then you also said something that you could be down and out. What was that line? This needs to be a T-shirt. Uh, you could be down and out. You know, you could be in a good mood and or you could be in a bad mood, and you can drink. When you drink, you know, drinking, go ahead, it's going it's going to help you during the, when you're in a you know. You're gonna celebrate with when you when you're drinking wine, and and you go and you can be down and out and drink some wine. You know, just yep. to kind of ease your mind. You know, um, that's the same thing with lumpia. <laughs> you can be down <laughs> and out and eat lumpia. And you can be celebrating eat, eating lumpia, mm-hmm. right? You know, so it go hand in hand. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> now, like Vallejo is 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 extra special. You, I mean, like you guys think like. At the shop, like you know, people are gonna come and say, "Yeah, Earl's my cousin" or whatever. But I'll tell you the truth: there's hell Filipinos that say, "I went to school with Earl." <laughs> I went to, well, well, to Vale. Was it Vallejo High? Hogan, it? Hogan, 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 yeah, Hogan. yeah. The, and then like, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm uh, Hogan. the Burdan family. Like they the all, <laughs> they roll yeah, deep. The Francis, Furman, Felino, all of them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, them guys. I, I eat a lot of lumpia at their house with their moms and them and their pops. They super cool. Yep. They stay right up the hill from me on Magazine Street, man, in the hillside. You know, man, love. All right. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll these nappas up right now. I'm gonna uh, show people oh. what the what the best rappers alive is all about. Yeah. You know, so. That's a um, That's a so I got that m- mix in here. And this is, uh, to Earl, can you tell me, like, I think I sent you a bag of Nappas. You didn't know what it was. So you were basically doing a roulette of lumpias. Like, you cooked it. You didn't know what was going to come out. Like, explain what happened when, when you, like, cooked it. and Because you, you, like, text messaged me. If you guys ever see our text thread, it's just, like, food <laughs> and stuff like that. And uh, you remember that? And you're like, whoa, this one crazy yeah right? it was like so you know it's just like having a cheese plate like a cheese and, cheese and salami or you know what i'm saying plate yeah what you can wine you know in the backyard just chilling with the fam or you know what i mean shoot some dominoes or whatever you know what i mean whatever you're doing you know what i'm saying so it's like um but it's all it's wrapped in a lupia <laughs> right you know when i fried it up i'm like what the hell and when I when I when I busted when I opened it up, okay, and it had what is what is what, is, what kind of salami was that? Was it beef? Italian was it? Italian dry salami? It was pork, and then I also customized one for Tracy. You did a turkey and one. I did a turkey one for my wife. Yeah, so because yeah. she don't eat beef or pork, I eat right. everything. Hello, um, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so man, and we, when you customize the uh, the turkey one. We really couldn't. We couldn't tell the difference, really, bro. It, it I couldn't was, either. You know, I couldn't either. I had to. I had to dig deep for like, for a sprinkle me record, like to find that turkey, man. <laughs> I was bullying. The, I was bullying the guys at a, at a, at a Berkeley Ball. I'm like, you guys got that turkey salami? I need it. Ford needs it. <laughs> and we found hey, it. Listen, and to it came out lovely. listen. But when I when I when I fried it up, right. I made sure it was right. crispy, just burnt, just brown, you know, like goldish brown. You know right. what I'm saying? And uh, you know, because I know how to do that. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. When we when we do our when we do our lumpia, we it's, we take it fresh out the freezer and, and yep. put that thing in there. We don't ain't no thawing out. Ain't no need to thaw it out. Let it. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna make it more crispy. You know what I'm saying? If you leave it frozen, you feel me? Right. So to make a long story short. I um I I I, I put it on a plate. Uh, cut it open, just it just oozes with just with just cheese, cheese and, and salami. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I was like, Alice, how many cheese is this you put in that thing? Boy, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, that's it. I don't even know the name of it. I don't know if it's Asiaga. Is it Asiaga? That's it. 
Asiago that's cheese. It. Okay. Yeah. 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 Asiago cheese. That thing go crazy. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So well, I'm gonna the, roll the these up thing. right here for everybody. I'm, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna do a little speed rolling. This these are our, our rappers, and I'm gonna show Lumpia chefs around the world <laughs> how I do it. And my weapons of uh, destruction are my portioning uh, spoon right here, so that every you know Lumpia you know is the same portion. Like I learned that working next to the empanada guy. And um, so I'm gonna take this mix, and I also have my uh, my glue here, which is the cornstarch, and I'm gonna lay down maybe about ten of these, and just show you how I do. But before that, Raul, man, you, you gotta dig through the uh, Earl's catalog. I need I need that real that real like that sprinkle me or that five on it, like like you know. You got me. I'm I'm I'm, I'm uh, I need that music when I roll, because we go by the name of Best Rappers Alive also, and that's with the W. We definitely right. do, baby. Oh, we see, now I'm feeling it. So, all right. First thing I do is, when these things come in frozen, man, I can't believe the world is watching this. This is amazing. So I, I break them in. It's not like your mama's rappers where it takes an hour to peel them all. These are easy to go, all right? So I'm going to do one like a card dealer. I'm going to put it down right there. All right. I'm going to do more. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tetrify this. Is. This is like Tetris. All right. Usually I have like a seven to ten foot table, and we do about 50 at a time. We got squad. But right now, you just got Lumpia Chef here, and we're just going to do enough for us to eat right now. So here it goes. So I'm going to lay down all of these right here. Best rappers alive. Right here, I'm wrapping lumpias with the best rapper alive right here. All right. Oh. So you guys think that it's just going to go in like that? I got that figgy, figgy, figgy jam right here. And that's going to be first first thing in, uh, you know, cooking is that schmear. All right. So when you get that, that bite right there, it's going to have that fig jam right there. And that's what balances off the pepper and the salt and the garlic. And... It just heck it goes. I've been saying that all day. So we're going to put the fig. We're going to just go hard on it right here. Man. And then you could also smear it with this uh, on the outside too. And this is like, this is that lumpia I made, man. I was like, I need to like blow the doors off. And there it is. So I got the fig right there. And I'm going to look at all that. Where's the camera at? These are chunks of cheese and Italian dry salami. Oh, man. The Asiago. It's going to burst out on you. So I do. The arugula gives it that texture right there. Binds it all together. So it's like. When people were rolling lumpias, they never put anything like this inside of it. I was like, you know, sushi's made so many different ways. The science of lumpia is what, you know, I fell in love with and what works. I got one more here. Missed out on that. All right. So I portion it right there. I shape it, give it that little Snickers bar. That one needs a little more. And this is that arugula cheese, Italian dry salami. So there it is. All right. Now we're going to, like, wrap these tight. I'm going to wrap them tight. All right. So I bring these, let the ends go up there. And I'm going to give it that little tug there. I'm going to roll through. All right. Boom. I'm going to do it again. Bam. Boom. So I, I mean, I could pretty much do this with my eyes closed. You know what I'm saying? It's like that crazy. It's like my mom couldn't hate on me when she saw me do this. She's like, oh, with your eyes closed, why you do that? And I'm like, yeah, do it. Lots of practice. Practice makes perfect. So boom. So I'm going to leave the 
we're like sealing them like envelopes. So we're going to leave the envelope, you know, ready to be sealed with the cornstarch. Cornstarch is my favorite way to do it. You know, it's prettier than the egg. It's cleaner, and it's always available if you have it. So, boom, doesn't go bad. So I'm going to get it straight from the pot. You know, you can use flour too, but this one works a lot better. It sticks a lot better. All right, boom, 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 boom. Greatest rapper alive. This one right here, this one I like to go like this. So this last one I always just, I always wanted to be like Hubert. That's what we're doing. Best rappers alive, stacking them up. You don't know nothing about Hubert. Oh man, that's your cousin. I know that. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on. Q-Bird, worldwide. Worldwide. Mm -hmm. All right, we're, we're going straight in. Usually I like to freeze them up a little bit, but cornstarch going to hold. This oil's talking to me. It's like, <laughs> sounds like, there you go. So this is going to be that extra sloppy. So now I'm going to plate the rest of these guys. All right, this one is the chicken tenola. I'm gonna get them right here. Got there, and then I got my sauce coming for you. This is my shoyu yoli. We're gonna boom, hit them right there. And I'm gonna hit them with the green onions. Let me hit them with the Fried garlic, chicken tenola lumpia, yeah. chardonnay. We got, great. We're bringing them out. Earl, what you think? What you know about this shrimp truck? Shrimp Amar truck. I had Amar some last night. Me and me, me and my wife and my my youngest son. We Yo. fried them. Yeah, that shrimp truck go crazy with that garlic. With the garlic, with the gar garlic flavor in that thing with the shrimp. Yeah. The garlic butter, yeah, the garlic butter. You can smell it. Boy, that sounds crazy. They do. Man. All right. Peach habanero, sweet chili. Earl, I, I got I got, got this for you, too. Boom. Gotta, gotta have a sweet chili, buddy. Woo! Gotta have a sweet hit chili. Hit him with that parse. Shrimp truck. All the way from the North Shore, brother. All right. Earl, what you know about these turkey veggies right here, man? I know a lot what about, you know about man. I know a lot about Man. That's a traditional lumpia, but we, we substitute it, you know what I'm saying, with the, with the ground turkey, it's, you know? I think you made it better. I you made it. It's my, <laughs> my, my creation. <laughs> Off top, you made it better, man. I, I, mean, I, had, <laughs> I had looked at every ground turkey that I bought, and, and it's like I needed to get the best of the best. That's right. Buddy. That's right. Man. Man, I can't wait till, like, basketball season and all this stuff's normal because, Earl, we're about to have our Olympias in all the parks, man. I know. That's you, know? Be, you know? You so know? All this stuff will be over one day, so. I, I hope so, so we can get back cracking. You know what I'm saying? We we doing good though. We, doing we good. are doing great, man. You know, Earl Stevens of dope beverages. You know, the, my rap career is going great. I, I I can't complain, man. You know, but you know, I, I do miss a lot of the loved ones that I haven't been able to hug. Like my mom, I seen her once out of this whole time. Like, you know, I talked to her face FaceTime and Zoom and stuff like that. You know, but. You, you know, you know what, brother, man, love you so much because you 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 helping all of us here, like everyone that's doing this undiscovered thing. It's this is this thing's worldwide, and we, you know they put their uh, blood, sweat, and tears in it. He's helping us elevate our culture more than just lumpia, and just you know because you're you're one of us, man. You know, so hey. I just want th thank you for that. Like I'm first Black off, Pino, you know, man, I'm Black Pino. Black of Pino. I just, I just so, made it up. Man. I don't know. <laughs> <Well, laughs> hey. well, man, 
I rock with Filipinos, man. I'm being honest with you, man. This ain't no marketing scheme or nothing. It's just really me, you know. And I always wanted to do it. It's like God working mysterious ways. I always wanted to be part of a company, you know, that sells lumpia, you know, because I can imagine me and Alex talk about it all the time, you know, drive through, you know what I mean? Well, you're giving right. out the secrets, huh? Lumpia oh. drive through? You guys ever hear of that? <laughs> <laughs> a lumpia drive through? You know, just there- a local. I, I I commend you, uh, Alex, on the local. Right That's hard, bro. That's that's, uh, that's just just the name of it, Lumpia Drive Through. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what he that's what he told me, man. I I could always re- remember that time. He's Alex. Imagine a Lumpia Drive Through. You know, I was like, hell yeah, dude. The perfect the, partner, guys. With the Lumpia with the Lumpia logo. That logo. When I first seen the logo. I was like, you know what? That looked like it's already a franchise. You know? Yeah, yep. That's what we were going for. I had my, my niece. My niece was like 11 months old. And I was with my mama. And she was like, eat, eat, eat. And she, I'm like, what's she talking about? And she kept pointing at something. You know what she was pointing at? McDonald's sign. That show you how powerful logos are. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. She wanted some french fries from McDonald's. Yeah. Earl, these are the Earl Stevens great. turkey lumpia right there. Man, those go right there. All right, I got two more lumpias to plate. We're going to do it right now. You need to get a close-up of that, that lumpia, man. That look, that look good. Pan down on that lumpia, man. So this one right here, we got the peach. I'm gonna we're gonna artisan this. Man, when I first peach mango. These are the peach mangoes. Yeah. We're gonna plate these guys up right here. All right. All right, this one I love the plate all the time. Cause you gotta hit them up with the with the garnish right here. Mm-hmm. So what we do here, we got the cinnamon wontons on the bottom. It's like churro. And then we're gonna, these are what help you balance the lumpias right here. All right. And man, five years ago today was my first pop-up dinner. Now I'm here with Earl Stevens presenting lumpia to the world, man. Woo! So yeah, we're gonna hit them with that caramel. It's gonna just go get them, man. Like you, what is that? you ain't even even ready, bro. Wow. All right. I'm gonna make and, some of them tonight. And then we're gonna pow, pow, pow right there. Sprinkle me right there, bro. Yeah. All right. Hey, bro. There's that one thing that you always like me to put on that finishing touch, right? It's gotta yeah, have right. that finishing touch. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> he told me first. I like how you do that, <laughs> right? You said that sprinkle, that sprinkle. You sprinkle it, man. We just sprinkle, man. We just gotta let it fall like nice. right on them right there, man. Let it naturally fall. There you go. Yeah. Boom. Nice. Boom. Nice. There, you, there it is, my friends. This is the peach. I got one more to play. We got one more to go, guys. Clap it up. This one's my favorite one to make. On my original Lumpia Company board here, first thing I got to do is clear my table. So we're going to celebrate the Lumpia demo here with my partner. You're going to wipe it all down. This is what happens when you, you don't got your sous chef. <laughs> we are operating two shops today. So Alex had to come bolo. So here we are. Somebody back there slapping. Yup, they slapping, man. Hey. All right. 
Okay. All right. Let's bring these nappas over here. All right. Knife. We're going to do it artisan. We're just going to do them straight. These guys are crazier than ever. There's so much cheese. The ooze. See that one? You got the fig all up in it. I mean, I don't even know where to start. It's no good. A good fig. I'm going to do one more. I'm going to do one more. Woo! Messy delicious. Messy delicious, huh? Yep, that's what it is. <laughs> it's just like you can't control that flavor. It's just bursting out. So we're going to nah. wipe it down. And I'm going to hit them with one more little. Y'all ready to see this finish? Make some noise. So we got that fig right there. And when you're like, this is the Napa Valley one. So you want to uh, hit it up with a whole combo of things. You want the grapes and you uh -huh. want the nuts. Uh -huh. And that's that. And then we're just going to finish it off like Bodhi says. Sprinkle, Sprinkle me, man. Yeah. Sprinkle me, man. So guys, um, I want to like have Earl host the toast and we're going to yeah. pop one of these Proseccos. Uncle Earl. All right. I'm going to get that bottle right here. Boom. All right. Uh, are we in? I got one right here. I got one right here. Yeah. All right. Yeah, Look at that. You got to show that right here. Got to. Right here. You pull it off like that. You grab it. Y'all ready for this? Be ready. Pull it off. Undiscovered X makes some noise! Woo! Hell yeah. My I'm man. I'm to get it off now. You, you ready, Alex? Yeah. Ready? Oh, I heard it. You ready, baby? <laughs> I'm I already guarantee ready. this is the fanciest lumpia spread that ever was. Come on now. Let's do All it, right. man. We gotta make our toast. I, I, I've been. All I've right, y'all. Let's. Un Uncle Earl, toast family. Team, let's get right our here. team up in this. Let's get the whole team up in here. Y'all, tell me when y'all ready. What Woo. up, y'all? This is Gina, closing us out for day one of Undiscovered Woo. X. Yay. Thank you, Alex. Yay. Thank you, E40. Yeah. Toast to y'all. Thank hey, you, uh, uh, Earl's gonna host. He's gonna uh, he's gonna do a little oh. toast. Let's go. Yeah, here we go. All right, listen to me. Can y'all hear me good? We can hear you good. All right, here we go. Y'all repeat after me. I I ain't above you. I ain't, I ain't above, above you. you. I ain't below you. I ain't, I ain't below, below you. But I'm right beside you. But I'm, but I'm right, right beside, beside you. you. Cheers, y'all. Yeah. yeah.